Tom, we'll come to Sunderland in a second, but firstly, how was your recent trip away with Northern Ireland? Um, yeah, it was good. Uh, I was a bit disappointed not to play in the second game. Um, but yeah, played 90 minutes in the first game, good performance. Um, so yeah, I was pleased. Um, yeah, just enjoyed it. Uh, obviously that trip, um, we do three at the beginning of the year, so you kind of with each other quite a bit. And then so by the time you get to March, it's quite nice to see everyone again. Um, manager was pleased they didn't play in the second game. Um, <laughs> so, uh, no, yeah, uh, a good trip and good time away and more minutes and another cap, which which means a lot to me. So Now, on to Sunderland, obviously a club you've spent a lot of time with. How are you feeling ahead of the fixture tomorrow? Just another game, to be honest. It's, it's, uh, it's one of them where cut, cut ties, really, now. I speak to the boys um, because I spent a long time there. Um, but it's all changed there, and that's how it's been for the last few years. So, um, no, no real, no real connection yeah. at the minute. Um, so yeah, just seeing it as a, as another game. Obviously, we've got our goal; they've got their goal. Just concentrate on on where we want to be, and we can we can put ourselves in a really good position. I know some people say we're not playing for anything, but we've got a goal that we're trying to achieve, and um, and it is it is definitely achievable and a, a win. Um, Away from home, we'll, we'll also back up that, that good performance against Ipswich, which, again, like we spoke about many times, we probably should have got a little bit more from. What's it like, uh, from what you've seen, for an away team to go to the Stadium of Light, be it from an atmosphere perspective or anything else, really? It's a, it's a, tough, it's a tough place to go, um, but it will also, and I've seen it happen, um, it will also bring out the best in players if they can... Um, not play like the occasion, just enjoy their time there. Uh, and one thing I would definitely say about, about the football club is that the fans are just, we speak about, oh, there might be 20,000 there, but it'd be more like 30, 35, which is pretty incredible really. And it doesn't matter how the team's doing. I, I was there in some, in some bad runs and some great runs. And um, it's rare that it, it drops below that 30 mark, which is which is incredible really. So it's something something to look forward to for, for the majority of the boys who maybe haven't played in front of that many people that regular, because that, that's what you want to do. You want to play in front of crowds like that as, as much as you can. And um, if you can get to a league where that is the standard every week, then you've, you're doing pretty well. So and that's what everyone wants to do. I know it's changed a bit since you were there, but you played 28 games for them earlier this season. Um, with a player such as yourself, who at least comes across as very football intelligent, uh, can you provide much to the preparation for this game, sort of an insight from the other side almost? Or again, not so much because it's uh, changed? Not, not so much really. <clears throat> I know the players individually because no one after I'd left, no one came in. So I know literally every player and kind of their, their good bits and their bad bits. So I've got, I've got that insight. Um, but again, it's the, it's the consistency, so you don't know what they're going to bring. Um, and I, I don't know the manager at all, and never met him. I've maybe played against him once or twice, but um, so in that respect, I've got I've got no idea what they'll do. I know the players speak highly of him, um, so he's got the team on side, which I think is a big thing. And I've spoke about that with with this manager, how all the boys respect him, and and when he's talking, everyone is listening, uh, which isn't always the case. Um, so I know that that's that's how the players feel about that, which I think is, is a big deal. Um, and we'll, especially with the situation they're in where they need to win every game now and that will help. Um, so, yeah. And then just finally for me, I know you've got a good connection with Durham's where you got married, where your kids were born. Are you making a bit of an Easter weekend of it up there or you've got a different Easter plans? <laughs> no, obviously playing Monday, so I've got no one going to the game <laughs> or anything like that. So it'd just be, be um, travel up, stay the night, Three points on the coach, back home, a lie in the next day, run around with the kids, and then play again. So that's what Easter, that's what Easter entails this year. Um, but no, it, it's strange as well. Like obviously, two games in such quick succession, um, and then yeah, two games left. So it's kind of standing now. We've got four games left, but by the end of the weekend, we'll only have two. So it's just it, this season's gone so quick, and even my time here has has gone gone incredibly quick um, so yeah no I think we can achieve our goal with six points I'd say um, not saying that then we'll 
not turn up for the last two games, <laughs> yeah. but um, we might as well try and get our goal achieved as soon as possible. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Tom. No problem.